What up, food tubers? Mr. Oliver here. I hope you're all really, really well. Guys, uh, we're going to cook a beautiful dish today. We're going to do a really nice vegetable stir fried rice. It's comfort food, it's delicious, super, super diverse and dynamic, and I love it. And also, you can save money by not going to the takeout. Now, the inspiration for this dish, apart from it being Food Revolution Day very, very soon, uh, is a lovely lady called Louise. And then I come in and say hi. Hello, food tubers. This is the lovely hi. Louise. And she has a fantastic vlog uh, called Sprinkle of Glitter. Channel called Sprinkle of Glitter. Yes. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> and also Sprinkle of Chatter. So I do a lot of videos about lifestyle. Like sometimes they're just a bit like fluffy about makeup and stuff, and sometimes they're about like feeling good in yourself. No. Nice. Sounds really twee, but it's not. Well, it's my, like it's my like a kids warm hug. Love you, and all of her mates at school love oh, you. Oh, good. So you set the tone for the stir-fried rice. Yeah, what I said was, I cannot cook anything, my child likes rice. Well, that's a good start. So over here we have the rice. Yes. It has to be cold. A, because it works better, um, but B, it's supposed to be a convenient dish. So whenever you cook rice for the family, just cook a bit more, save it, pop it in the fridge. It's always good for a couple of days, at least. I'm gonna do my sprinkles first. Okay. So a few peanuts. Okay. A few sesame seeds. So while that's happening, let's do some chopping. So right. garlic, chili, spring onions, finely sliced. Mm -hmm. That's impressive with the chopping. If that you're is. wondering what um, the lovely Louise is doing, she's vlogging for her channel. You like spice? Moderate. Moderate. Yeah. I'm going to give you half a red chili. So now let's just toast it up a little bit. And we're just going to make use of that pan while it's heating up. So we put that to one side. OK. Some ginger. A nice, simple way to, to peel ginger is just rub it with a little teaspoon, if you okay. could do that. Yeah. For our lovely food tubers. Yeah. Nice. There That'll do. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to finely slice a little bit of ginger. And this kind of makes it always taste delicious. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get you cooking now. All right, then. High heat. OK. So we're going to put a tablespoon in there, Tiger. Toasted sesame oil. Yes. Perfect. Is that the go. professional way? <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm not. It's fine. Go with the flow. And this is enough for about two people. If we don't want to use knife skills, smells really nice. we can kind of put them in whole. OK. But if you want to, you can cut them in half. I'll cut them in half. Um, but don't Just. Oh. You can do them that way. Oh. <laughs> uh, or you can do them that way. <laughs> oh. That's I felt right. so confident with that. I was like, no, yeah, no, nailed can... it. <laughs> so if you angle the pan down, OK. Then gravity pushes it down. And then you flip it back. OK. Um, so Louise is about to show you her tossing yeah. action. <laughs> Never thought I'd put that on the internet. <laughs> Yay! 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 Well done. Thanks, Jamie Oliver. Yeah. yeah, you take your thing. All right, do. Adding some little bok choy. In. This is sprouting broccoli. This is um, monge too, or, or sugar snap peas. Whether it's more conventional carrots or... Bean sprouts. Uh, bean sprouts. Look, I knew a thing. Back to you. Yeah, yeah, got this one. Oh! Got some height on that bad boy. Oh, no, you got it now, but Yeah, buddy. Ooh, come yeah. on, give it up to sprinkle Ooh, a clear. Yeah. But now it's time for the for the rice. Brown, white, uh, uh, black rice, anything you want. <laughs> we'll keep moving it around. If you listen to that, it's a nice sound because it's that actually is. sort of it's almost crackling the it's rice. Like snap, snap, crackle, pop. Yes. So eggs. We're going to get some beautiful protein from this. Um, in with the eggs. You can toss that for me. Okay. And then we want some more fragrant things going in here. This is what we're going to kind of kiss all of this with. It's going to make it taste really delicious. Okay. Just under a tablespoon of soy sauce, I put a little sweet chili sauce in there. The juice of a lime goes in. We saw that around a little bit. And then we're going to pour that into here. Well, that just got really exciting. Just make a little well to one side. In with the eggs. Egg Essentially, well. we're scrambling the egg. You don't Eggy have to move well. it around too much. And now we're just going to shake it around. We can plate it up. Super healthy. I'm going to finish it with some coriander. Pass with my nuts. Bit. Yes, please. So there you go, lovely people. That is our beautiful stir fried rice. The whole point of this is hopefully you and you based on the principles, can make this your own. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Do you think you can do this? Yeah, I do. Would you like to try some? Yes, I would, a lot. That's really nice. nice. Imagine if I was like, <laughs> I really liked it. 
If you want to get a little bit more of Louise and sprinkle with glitter, then you can click some boxes down there and subscribe to her channel. Yes, and if you want to see the vlog of the stuff I've been filming today, you can click on Sprinkle Chatter, which is my second channel. Oh, second channel, um, I see. Yeah. Of course, if you have not subscribed to FoodTube, what do they do? Subscribe. Yes, because? Uh, it's great and it's free and um, you can learn to cook things. Or if you're just like Marge Judith, you can just sort of like go up at Jamie Oliver a bit. <laughs> So guys, if you enjoyed this recipe and you want more, then please go to foodrevolutionday.com and there's loads of good stuff.